Oh, look. Here's our Vicky back from her date with the fridge. Let's see how she got on. Vitality Drink. Sponsoring Blind Date with Muller Love. On Blind Date tonight, Paddy and Ashley are back from their date to tell us if they found love in Lithuania. And Castaway Sophie and Leon return from their sizzling secret hideaway in the Maldives. The chauffeur, but she ain't no loafer. She's the queen of the sofa. It's Scylla. Thank you, thank you. Hello, and welcome to Blind Date. Well, last week we certainly made Paddy's day when we delivered just what he'd always wanted. The lovely Ashley in a cat suit. <laughs> well, he looked chuffed enough, but how did Ashley feel once she'd got her claws into our Paddy? Well, that's all to come. But before that, we've got three lovely ladies on the prowl for the perfect man. So <laughs> let's get them in. Here they are. Come in. And they're girls. that song. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Ladies, I must tell you, you look lovely. Please, introduce yourselves. Hi, my name's Michelle, I'm 27 and I'm a books coordinator from Coventry. <laughs> the reason I'm here on Blind Date is because I'm looking for a guy with a really big ego. <laughs> I like my men to be arrogant, cocky and with real attitude. <laughs> to find in my dream date, pop idol Simon Cow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm 30 years old. I'm a secretary and I'm from the West Midlands. Oh yeah. <laughs> the reason I want to be on blind date is to find myself a male slave. I don't cook. <laughs> I don't clean and I don't do DIY. They're his duties. Me, I just want to lunch with the ladies, gossip with the girls, because I want to be a lady of leisure. Hi, I'm Teresa, I'm 30 and I'm a PA from Nottingham! is because I'm looking for a guy who's into his tunes. I'm mad about music, I'm crazy for clubs, and when I'm out, I hip, hop, and I bop till I drop. Whoa. I guess that makes me a dance floor diva! So there they are. What they need is a man, and I happen to have one just back here. So, girls... Brace yourselves, because he's just gorgeous. He's Jay, and he's from Essex. Come in, Jay! Hi, <laughs> Jay. Hello. Well, what an entrance, Jay. Bird took me breath away, Jay. Sit yourself down there. And we're all dying to know what you do for a living. I'm um, a club promoter, Silla. A club promoter? Yeah. Yes. 
Well, you obviously enjoy that job because it's a hard job. Long hours. Long hours. That's why I'm finding someone to keep up with me. Um, you basically need stamina, outgoing, personality, someone who can enjoy music and uh, enjoy themselves. And what well, are you looking at her? Well, you know, actually, I've, got, I've got a bone to pick with you. I'm having Have a, you? I'm having a row with uh, someone at home and put a very large bet on that you used to be a singer. What do you mean, used? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean, you used to be a singer? You're not that young. See, How old are you, Jay? Me, 31. 31? Yeah. Oh, well, yes. Well, he said... <laughs> well, he says, <laughs> says that you used to be a, a, a bit of a Madonna in your days. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, well this it... member of your family has got really great taste. Oh, has he? Yes. Well, um, basically, I even thought he was going a bit senile and decided to up the stakes. You thought he was what? <laughs> going a bit senile. <laughs> because he thought I was a singer. <laughs> Is not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person? My granddad. <laughs> Your granddad? Well, I love him. What's his name? Albert. Oh, Albert. <laughs> What's it all about? <laughs> Albert. <laughs> so, yes, you see. Don't remember Albert. I hope you've got three great questions. Yes, I have. You've got to decide to lose one of those beautiful girls just after two. Right. So fire away, okay. Jay. Question number one. I've got a fetish about cleaning because coming from a large family, the house is always untidy. So I used to help out rather than leave it to mum. What is your fetish and why? And that's the number two. Well, my fetish is that I like to have long, painted fingernails and I like the colour of my fingernails to match my underwear. And tonight, Jay, just for you, I'm not wearing any nail varnish. <laughs> so, to number one, please. I am also obsessed with a clean and tidy house, but tonight I'm not getting my hands dirty. So, Jay, you get scrubbing, and if you miss a single bit, you'll be punished, you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> and to number three, please. Hi, sexy. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm the ultimate chocoholic and I love nothing better than a chocolate fondue. <laughs> I'll dip anything. So how's about a chocolate-covered J for me to get stuck into? So question number two. As you've heard, I work really unsocial hours. So how I spend my spare time is really important to me. What are your views on the following? So number one, long walk, or long lying? A long lying, definitely. Restaurant or takeaway? Of course, restaurant. Okay, yeah. that's good. You like mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, number two, <laughs> museum or theatre? Theatre. Rock gig or classical concert? Rock gig. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh your nose turned up there. Yeah, the end. classical concert. Oh, you like classical? Yeah. 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 And you work in a nightclub? Yeah, I like oh, classical. Oh, so you get fed up with all that? Yes, yeah, so it's time to sort of like go somewhere and just relax and oh, chill out. Yeah. Oh, we've got a classical J here. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So number three, bars or clubs? Clubs. Videos or cinema? Cinema. Go oh, cinemas, all right. Are you happy yeah. with that? Yeah. Good. for one of our girls beyond those screens there. You've got to dump one of them. Oh, dear. I hate this bit. Are you going to dump number one, number two, or number three? Number two. You had to lose one and one, one had one, to go. Sorry. You turned down number two. That was our lovely Rachel from the West Midlands. Come in, Rachel. <laughs> oh, they like her. They like her. She's gone. Oh, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Never mind. Never mind, Rachel. You need to put me in every one of these dogs. Off he goes. OK, Jay, this is your last question. Make it a good one. OK. I used to be a fitness consultant, giving people physical as well as nutritional advice. 
What part of your opponent's body do you think needs a bit of work? <laughs> Question. Okay, to number one, please. Well, Jay, I'm not saying that number three's got a big bum. <laughs> if you do pick her tonight, it's going to take at least ten minutes for her to walk down to you. <laughs> and to number three, please. Right, Jay. <laughs> If you're looking to give physical advice, I think you should talk to number one about her breathing because if she holds that stomach in any longer, <laughs> she's going to pass out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, the girls have got it in for each other tonight, haven't they? I'd hate to be on that seat yeah. of yours. I really would. You've got to choose one of those girls. Who are you going to go for? Are you going to choose number one or number three? Number one. Well, number three, as you know, it ain't over just yet, so hide away just for a little while because he just might change his mind. See you in a bit. Okay, Jay, here she is. You did choose number one. And that was Michelle from Coventry. Come in, Michelle. <laughs> Whoa, Michelle. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> yes, you're totally yeah, gobsmacked, aren't yes. you? I said they were all gorgeous. What do you think? On the flea. Maybe not. <laughs> You can let your tummy out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she lied, didn't she? Now, is Jay happy with his choice or does he think there's something better on the market? Well, he's got two minutes to make up his mind because when we come back, he'll decide whether to love her or leave her. Will Jay date or will he ditch? <laughs> Find out after the break. See you in a moment. No doubt about it, number three was just a bit too loud for Jay, a bit too outgoing. Number one, she's a brunette, she's sophisticated, and she's just a perfect match for Jay. Date her. Number one's tasty. Uh, I think I'll go for number one. Oi! Now, before the break, you saw Jay go with his good feeling and plump for Michelle. Jay can't see him, but at home, you've already seen what his best friend Carl thinks he should do. So, Jay, what's it going to be? I mean, are you going to date or are you going to ditch this lovely lady? What do our crowd think? <laughs> you and I think he's about to make up his mind. Who are you going to choose? Are you going to date her or are you going to ditch Michelle? I'm going to date her. I had, I had that feeling because as soon as you saw her, you went, wow, didn't yeah, you? Nice. Yeah. My goodness me. But what about the lady that you turned down? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. You could have had all those chocolates because she's a chocoholic. <laughs> Kiss goodbye to your would-be blind date this evening. You turned her down. That was number three. That was Teresa from Nottingham. Come in, Teresa. <laughs> The quarter band. <laughs> 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 Bye, sweetheart. Okay, this is the exciting bit. Where are you going on your blind date? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You relax now, aren't you? Yeah. You're dead chopped. <laughs> <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> do you like going to nightclubs? Yes, do. Yes. Great. Yes. <laughs> you can read. Jay. Here you go. Cheers. Thank you. A date at the Atlantic City. Ooh. Date two Atlantic City. Wow, yes. Yes, your 
are staying at the fabulous Tropicana Casino and Spa Resort in the U.S. party town of Atlantic City. Come to that. By night, you'll sample the fantastic nightclubs, shows and casinos. And by day, taste the ocean spray as you chase the barracudas with some exhilarating deep sea fishing. Oh, oh, that would be love good. It. After that, maybe you'll want to sneak off and snuggle up together under the boardwalk. On a date in this gambling mecca, it's odds on for love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wish them well. It's RJ and Michelle. See you next week. <laughs> well, we'll find out just how they get on together next week. But right now, what about Paddy and Ashley? Last week, they flew out to live it up in Lithuania. Let's have a look at their date diary to see if Paddy and his cat woman found love. <laughs> Welcome to the Mavro Residence Hotel. Thank you. Have a nice and pleasant stay with us. Come with me. Glass. <laughs> At you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you needed some new glasses, didn't you? Oh, I think they suit actually. Well, actually, here we are again. It was the stocks in some strange, perverted way. I've always wanted to stick my head in between them. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere near they stuck to him. <laughs> you all got padlock. Excellent. Well, I'll see you later, Paddy. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, Kate, it's beyond a joke now. Anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, we went out last night, had a great time. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting better, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're talking more and, um, and whatnot. Yeah, I do not want to be filmed in this. Tough. It's not exactly the whole sex bill. Don't go down, it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not going to come and do it, Paddy. I'm just going to stand here and watch you, okay? Okay. <laughs> when the screen went back and I first saw Ashley, I noticed her shiny red cat suit, and I love cat suits. And I thought, hello, treacle. <laughs> When I first saw Paddy, I thought he was nice looking with lovely eyes. Not my usual rough and ready type, but hey, I was just glad he didn't ditch me. When we arrived in Lithuania, Ashley described everything as cute. Cute buildings, cute people, cute weather. And I thought, please, is that the extent of your descriptive powers? One of Paddy's favourite words is cracking. It was cracking this and cracking that and cracking the other. It was so cracking repetitive. I just wanted to say, shut up. <laughs> Ashley and I went for a tour of the old town and I realised we had nothing in common. I was interested in the history of the place. She was interested in glittery eyeshadow, stick-on nails, oh, and the latest lip gloss. I mean, give me deep, Ashley, really deep. On our tour of the old town, I discovered that Paddy was Mr Trivia and full of useless information. For example, did you know that lightning often strikes from cloud to cloud but only rarely actually hits the earth? <sighs> Excuse me while I stifle a yawn. Ashley and I went horse riding and straight away she started whining, saying they were ugly, they were smelly. I just thought, you know, put a sock in it, anyone moaning and you'll be horse. You get it? Horse. When we went horse riding, Paddy had to yet again prove himself and sported a pair of figure-hugging jodhpurs, which, believe me, did nothing for him. And then, when he started coming out with the comments such as, stop horsing around. I just wanted to push them face down into a pile of manure. <laughs> On our last day, Ashley and I went beer tasting where we tried out some of the local brews. But she showed herself up once again saying, it tastes just like the beer down my local pub. Oh! <laughs> that girl is so clueless and classless, it's embarrassing. Whilst beer tasting, I discovered that another one of Paddy's favourite sayings is, 
bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Ah, oh, what a geek! I'd love to go back to Lithuania again. The people at the place were fantastic, but I won't be taking Ashley with me. I'll take someone who's more culturally aware and intellectually stimulating. I'll leave Ashley at home with her makeup kit. Penny never showed any interest in me, which was fine, because as far as I was concerned, he had the attributes and sex appeal of a Lithuanian dumpling. Tasteless, bland, and hard to stomach. I can never see Ashley as my girlfriend. She's too young, she's too naive, and she's too airheady. Besides, I can never go out with a girl with a bloke's name. say about each other on the film there, <laughs> but you complained that you found it hard to talk to our Ashley. Why was that, Paddy? I think when we went for dinner straight after the meal, we are um, making a lot of small talk, um, and we'd just been around the bush, and we just couldn't find anything that we sort of like had in common. Um, might have been the age difference, I think it probably was. Um, well, but how you did you describe his baby? He's got a sister who's the same age as me, and it was his baby sister. And from then, it was just the date was doomed. After you said that bit, it was like, how uh, many years between you? Six. Six. Six? Oh, that's a lot of years. That's a lot of toys. <laughs> <laughs> but did you really talk about your makeup and your glittery well, nails? Well, come on, Sinead, you're everything. not going to go out without your face on, are you? I mean, no, you're I a wouldn't girl, do exactly. go out without my face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's look at these shoes for a start here. Oh. It looks like he's just come off of a construction site. I'm not going to paint any false impressions of myself, but the <laughs> fact is, I, whenever I looked around in Lithuania, you know, there was, you know, I was looking at some buildings and you know, some cracking places there, you know. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and I just turned around and they go, tra la la, tra la la. <laughs> you know, it, I just thought, well, come on, there's some better things to look at. Tell us about what happened with the murder. The. <laughs> <laughs> the mur, you met the mur. Oh, the mayor. What happened? Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> Murder. Uh, <laughs> well, we met the mayor and we went in and um, he gave us these. Well, he gave us these T-shirts. Now this is a bit of a story, isn't it, Paddy? Right. He gave us these T-shirts basically, which were a big um, map of Vilnius, the capital city. And you know, apparently they were supposed to be a real honour, but quite frankly, you wouldn't be seen dead in it. It was a massive deal, and the last yeah. people to get these T-shirts that they handed out were um, the royal family of, of, of Holland. Holland. And, uh, but what I didn't like. OK, I did keep it on. It wasn't the nicest T-shirt, but as soon as we left the building, you just took it off, screwed it up and put it in your bag. Oh, that's rude. And I rude. just thought that was really rude. It is rude. But you, are, you just wore it all day. You just... <laughs> oh. Well, he did find it difficult to make conversation with you, didn't he? But After could you while... make an effort? Because he was pointing out, you know, the local beauty spots and all the oh, history no, about the place. Oh, no, Lithuania was, was absolutely was gorgeous. But when it's... No, it's not that bit that was the trivia. It was everything else. Like, you'd make a little comment about how a tree looks or something. Be, well, do you know the reason it grows is because this, this and this. And that gets to a point, Paddy, when you, you don't care. It's just, like, well, yeah, boring. I was, by this stage, I was really <laughs> reaching for struggling. conversation, you know. I had absolutely <laughs> nothing in common. I thought I might as well entertain myself here. <laughs> Would you be prepared to try again on another date, even though there are six years? I mean, it's a lot for you. I'd love to go on uh, another date with her again. But, not, but you with know, her? Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I would, but, you know, but, you know, what's the rates for babysitting these days? You know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm so sorry you didn't get on. Really am, because I think you look a gorgeous couple, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Wish them well. It's our Paddy and Ashley, and I think she's got a lovely name. Paddy and Ashley, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kissing the baby sister. <laughs> well, we're going to take another break right now, but when we come back, it's the boys' chance to turn on the charm if they want to win the heart of our lovely lady tonight. Fellas? I want to see some serious strutty now, so bring on the boys! <laughs> What does he think he looks like? Oh, how could you turn down the rhubarb crumble corner? Well, hello and welcome.
welcome back. Now, remember, still to come, we'll see how hot it got in the Maldives when Sophie and Leon spilled the beans on their castaway date. But now it's time to meet our three lovely lads looking for love. So come on, fellas, give us what you've got. Hi, my name's Ken. I'm a student. I'm 19 years old from Plandit, New North Wales. Yeah. The reason I'm on blind date tonight is because I need to find a girl who's a good listener. I'm a Welsh windbag and my biggest claim to fame was being Wales Cub Scouts Chatterbox Champion when I was 10. <laughs> Trust me, my cheeky chatty charm has only improved with age. You can call me Gobby! Gobby! Hi, my name's Ed, I'm 22 and a graduate from Devon. <laughs> The reason why I'm on Blind Date is I'm the only one of seven brothers who hasn't got a girlfriend. And the boys just keep on teasing me about being the only one left on the shelf. It's time I found the girl of my dreams. The word for me is lonely. Hi, my name's Wes. I'm a 20-year-old bank clerk from Essex. The reason why I'm on Blind Date is to find a sophisticated girl who plays hard to get. Having worked through half the Essex girls, I find they're far too easy with their affections. I want a girl who says no once in a while. Well, at least waits to the second day. Well, three fellas all with the same thing on their mind. And she's right back here, boys. You better get yourselves ready to fight over our lady tonight. She's Tulu and she's from Sterling. Come in, Tulu! <laughs> Hello, how are you? You look gorgeous, Thank girl. You, so Sit yourself down there. Now, Tulu, what do you do first, look? Well, I'm a student. I go to Stirling University, study Spanish and economics. Wonderful. Well, now, you've got a problem at the minute, haven't you? Yeah. Because everywhere you go, you are mistaken for a certain gorgeous no, girl. So it's getting worse and worse, so it is. is it? <laughs> <laughs> People say I look like, is it Beyonce Knowles from Destiny Child? Beyonce? Oh, oh yes. I don't understand Foxy that. Cleopatra. I can understand it because she's gorgeous, isn't she, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, well, shall we see what you look like? Because we've got a photograph yeah. of it here. Where's Beyonce? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, the hair's a little bit different, but do you know what? I think she looks better than Beyonce, don't you? Yeah. Yes! Oh, yes! But all the fellas agree out there. So, I, I need a fella who can cope with a celebrity lifestyle now, you see? Well, whatever you said <laughs> is all right by me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got three questions. Yes. All right, Tulu, off you go. All right, my first question is, I seem extremely incapable of passing my driving test and I blame it on my childhood fascination with the dodgems. What fascinated you as a child and how has it affected your adulthood? My question goes to number one. Well, I've always loved the story of Beauty and the Beast, and even when I watch the film now, it still sends a tear down my eye. So help me relive my ultimate fantasy tonight, and even if you are a bit of a beast, I can still play the beauty. <laughs> Question goes to number three. Well, Tulu, ever since I was a child, I've always been fascinated with money. And now that I'm a big boy, I work in a bank. So, open an account with me tonight and I'll give you all the interest you need. Oh! <laughs> you in a bank. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, same question to number two. Well, ever since my childhood, I've been infatuated with Michael Jackson. His charisma, energy, and his dance moves. <laughs> My second question is, I think a girl's outfit is not complete without accessories. They are vital when it comes to looking your best. 
Which of the following do you prefer in a girl? And this is to number one. Hoops or studs? Studs. Heels or flip-flops? Heels. Okay, same question goes to number two. <laughs> Gold or silver? Oh, silver. Miniskirt or evening dress? Evening dress. Right, same question to number three. Bracelets or anklets? Uh, anklets. <laughs> stockings or tights? I'd have to say stockings. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, this is a difficult part, or it might be easy for you. You have to get rid of one of those guys now, don't you? Yeah, it's really, you do. really hard. Now think hard. Are you going to turn down number one, number two, or number three? I think it would have to be number one. Stumbled over that one, didn't you? Over number one, you weren't quite sure. But you're going to have to kiss goodbye to number one. And that was Ken from Clan Dundo. Come in, Ken. You've got one more question. Okay. All right, to Lou. One more question. And it's all down right. to this one. Right, my final question is, my name means a gift from God, which makes me feel special. What, what is it about yourself that makes you different and unique compared to a bloke sitting next to you? <laughs> and that's to number two. Well, to Lou, I'm tall, dark, handsome and refined. A real-life Prince Charming. So why bother with the scruffy oik next to me? <laughs> Question goes to number three. Well, I'd have to say, next to this one minute wonder, <laughs> I've got more staying power than Scylla, and you know how long she's been around. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be around much longer, but you won't if you keep on talking like that. <laughs> well, that's it. It's make your mind up time again. Who are you going to choose to Lou? Will it be number two or will it be number three? I think it definitely has to be number two. Number three, it's Tara for now, but don't give up hope. You could be coming back. We may see you in a mo. See you later. <laughs> Here he is, your could be date for this evening. You chose number two, that was Ed from Devon. Come in, Ed. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Tulu? First impressions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, the real work's just starting for Tulu as she weighs up her options. You know she can change her mind, but is the grass any greener? Don't go too far away, cos when we're back, it's crunch time. Will Tulu date or will she ditch? <laughs> Find out in just a couple of minutes. See you then. Tulu's so fussy, but I think she's got lucky. Number three would drive her mad, but number two is tall and handsome, and I think they'd be great together. Date him. Ditch, date. Ditch, date. Ditch. Date. Before the break, we saw Tulu pick Ed, 
but she can always play the ditch card. Tolu can't see her, but at home, you've all seen what Tolu's best friend Samir thinks she should do. But only Tolu can decide. Are you going to date or ditch? What do you think, guys? <laughs> Decide. You better make your mind up dead quick. You know what they think. What do you think? Are you going to date or are you going to ditch? Thank, thanks a lot. I'll have to <laughs> ditch. <laughs> that you did turn down. You haven't even seen him no. yet. What's wrong with him? He's from Essex. Are we all of Essex boys and girls? You turned down number three and that was our Wes from Essex. Come in, Wes. Is she gorgeous or what? Fantastic, Stunning, Sarah. stunning. Fantastic. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, is this a double date or what? <laughs> I don't know if she don't. <laughs> no, she can only have uh. one man and she chose. <laughs> 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 so off you go, Angel. Better so. luck. In the kitchen with other girls. Where are you going on your blind date? You have to make it a good one. Oh, Who's going to choose? Okay. okay. I did to Dublin. That's good. That's good. Have you been to Dublin yeah, before? Yeah. Fabulous, isn't it? It's lovely. Have yeah. you been to Dublin? Oh, oh, been to Dublin. oh the crack is great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. fabulous. It's fantastic. But fantastic. Let's see what you're going to be doing. A day to Dublin. You're staying at the wonderful Four Seasons Hotel in Dublin, where you'll experience the world famous Irish hospitality. And believe me, they're great. They're just like the Scottish people. You go on a literary pub crawl made famous by Dublin's most famous authors. Once you're in the mood, we'll teach you how to play some traditional Irish music <laughs> and then send you on a high speedboat ride round Dublin Bay to blow away the cobwebs. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't need the look of the Irish to fall in love because on this date, it won't be just the Blarney Stone that gets kissed. <laughs> You wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, enjoy Ireland. Give all the Irish my best regards. All right. Hello. Ladies Hello. and gentlemen, wish them well to Lou and Ed. Enjoy Ireland. <laughs> well, now it's time to welcome back Sophie and Leon. Now, what happens when you send two people to one of the most beautiful desert islands in the world with the sole intention of making them fall in love? Well, it's this. Welcome to Miro. You must be Leo and Sophie. Sophie. I show you. Okay, thank you. First impressions of Leon. Um, he's a very, very nice lad. Um, he's still in South Sign as an A labourer, um, which means that we're probably both well balanced. We seem to be getting on really well together. Uh, getting on really, really well. No sounds as yet, and very, very similar people as well, to be honest with you. I've done it now, putting the fish on the barbecue. I 
I'll just like one more chicken, please. You're very greedy. Yeah, going out of fun as well, I'll make sure. Next year? Next year? Oh, is that going to be our honeymoon? Idea? Is that going to be our honeymoon? Or? Yeah. Should we come for our honeymoon? Right, okay. We have asked Mr. Mary here, yeah. So we're going to have a kiss for Silla then, or what? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> when the screen went back and I first saw Sophie, I thought, wicked figure, gorgeous face, stylish clothes, I was well made up. When the screen went back and I first saw Leon, I thought, well done me, he was definitely the best one. Nice face. Great smile. Pity the body was a bit out of condition, though. On the way to the Maldives, Sophie really worried me when she said, yeah, we're getting on great, but just like brother and sister. I thought, that's not what I've got in mind. You're going to have to change your tactics, soft lad. On the flight to the Maldives, as we were tucking into our dinner, I looked over at Leon, and he was eating with his mouth wide open, like this. Oh, it was disgusting. It put me right off my food and him. On the first day of the Maldives, me and Sophie had the chance to play a game of tennis. Now, I'm quite good at tennis, so I thought I'd show off my forehand spin and my backhand slice. She didn't say much at the time, but I think she was quietly impressed. On the first day in the Maldives, we got to play tennis. And as I watched Leon move around the court, I thought, hmm, you're quite agile. Great ball control. Maybe I am starting to fall for you after all. On the second night of the Maldives, me and Sophie planned to go crab racing, but we got caught up in the romantic meal instead. I really wanted to make a move that night, but the time just didn't feel right, and the moment passed. On our second night, Leon and I had planned to go to a local crab race, but we were having such a laugh during our meal, I said to him, forget about the race. I mean, why let crabs get in the way of a good romance? I knew I had to really impress Sophie, so the next day I cooked to the barbecue. I knew Sophie loves a scran, and the best way to this girl's heart was through her stomach. And do you know what? It looked like my culinary skills were doing the trick. The next day we got a boat to the nearby island where Leon insisted on doing his Ainsley Harriet impression at the barbecue. I thought, funny, good looking, and you can cook. <laughs> I looked him up and down in his shorts and I thought, hmm, great package. That evening I knew the time was right and I went to give Sophie a peck on the cheek good night. But guess what? She grabbed me and our lips met full on. I thought, quality. After day of windsurfing, I knew I was starting to fall for Leon. He walked me back to my hut and politely went to kiss me on the cheek. And I thought, I'm not having that. So I grabbed him and we went for some lip on lip action. It was the perfect end to a perfect day. On the last night with Sophie, we had so much fun. It was amazing. We laughed, we danced. In all the excitement there, I forgot to snog her. I was the whole date. That was my only regret. On our final night together, we watched the sun go down and we went for a romantic stroll along the beach. I looked at Leon and I looked at the sea and I just thought, this is perfect, I just want it to last forever. Any girlfriend of mine must be a good dresser, a bit of a looker and be able to dance. Unfortunately, Sophie's got two left feet, but she needn't worry, I'll be able to give her some lessons. The three main things I look for in a boyfriend are, they've got to be funny, they've got to be laid back and they've got to be able to do a good Ainsley Harry impression. <laughs> Leon. In Sophie, I found the girl that I'm looking for. She'd be the perfect girlfriend. If we can overcome the distance between Liverpool and Sunderland, who knows what the future might hold. I want to make a go for Sophie. How about you? Maldives was magical. I had the most amazing time with Leon. And now the date's over, I'm really going to miss him. But Sunderland and Liverpool is only three hours away. So, what do you reckon, babe? Should we get it on or what? But it didn't, it wasn't very promising right at the start, mm, was it? Certainly not for you. Well, when I first saw him, he had bigger boobs than Billy than me. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I've been training at the gym for about four weeks <coughs> before this show and I just wasn't impressed at all. Well, this is a gym, you see, what happened to her is it hurt me back about four weeks ago, so I haven't been able to go to the gym, so that, that's the reason. That's that. the excuse anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you take me top off, it looks a lot better, it's just, you know. 
Yeah, well, obviously. I'm not surprised, like so. But you, the way you eat, you didn't like the way you ate your food. You eat with your mouth so Oh, on the plane. <laughs> I was eating with his mouth wide open. So I think we're going to have to take him to Sophie's School of Etiquette for a few lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Are you prepared to do that, Leon? I'll do anything for Sophie. Oh. <laughs> You'd have been at the slow starter. It wasn't me. It was like basically from day one when the screen went back, we went behind, everything was fine. Um, and then next day, chatting away, getting on really, really well, weren't sure what was going on. And then she just dropped the line, brother the brother and sister, and sister line. It was like, we're getting on so well, so well. You're just like my brother. So I was just like, right, fair enough. Next day, we're getting on so well, you're just like my brother. And this went on every single day. So it was just like... It was the tennis thing that did it for me, though. I know, And I, I saw know. him playing tennis. He was a bit of a sportsman. I was really impressed. So. How can you forget? I can't understand. She's beautiful. You're crazy about her. How come you forgot to snog her on the last night? <laughs> oh, yeah, just the night before, didn't we? The night before. Well, I know you grabbed him. <clears throat> Because I got a kiss on the cheek and no, that was it. No, it wasn't it, it was me. She's basically turned it all around. What happened was, we've been holding hands all night, whatever, whatever, and then we, we walked back to, back to her place. I went to go kiss her on the lips and then she just pulled me forward. Ooh. So she was going a bit more passionate than I was at that point, but... Were you shocked by that? Um, I was a bit shocked. I knew it was coming. You know, after played tennis, you know, she seen me, like, on the court, showing her... <laughs> Showing me ball skills, um, I just knew then. I you know. just thought somebody had to make a move first, and it had to be me, unfortunately. The thing, the thing with me is that I take it slowly. I like to get to know a girl. Obviously, yeah, you know, I thought she was like fit and everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like Ali G then, didn't I? <laughs> thought, thought, she, thought she was fit and everything, but obviously I wanted to get to know her as well. You know, it's Leon the love and not the letch type of thing. So you know, slowly, slowly, and then it was just like very working it up. slowly, too slowly. I know. <laughs> the last night, the first time. Yeah. Why couldn't you have done it again <laughs> on on the last night? How many more clues does he need? <laughs> I mean, a girl can only throw herself at a boy once. That's true, isn't it, girls? Yes. Yes, oh, gosh. No, maybe not. The <laughs> they, they do, they do. Well, you didn't get your final snog on that. Uh, do you feel it no. as if you've missed out? Well, to be honest with you, Syl, out, out of the whole holiday, it was perfect. You know, we had a really good time, got on really, really, really well. Oh, um, fabulous girl. Um, obviously, I want to thank you for bringing me and Sophie oh. together, etc. Oh, um, isn't that nice? <laughs> Liverpool is not that far away. Oh, we're seeing each other next weekend, aren't we? It's nice. Oh, you've seen each other at the mm -hmm. weekend? It's coming down, yeah. um, down to the pool. You go for, down um, to the pool? For yeah. the weekend. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's yeah, great. It's great. It'll be fabulous. It'll yeah, be fabulous. So, so the whole thing, that was wicked, brilliant, brilliant time. As I said, the only regret I had was that I didn't... As Sophie said, I didn't make the move, so obviously I want to... Well, you've you know, got the opportunity Well, this is now. it. I'm going to rectify, finally rectify. That's so everyone knows, you know, I'm not that slow. So I'm really <laughs> well, you are slow. Go I'm slow, so no, it took a week, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, give my love to everybody in the pool do, and do. tell them that, you know, I'm ordering me at. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, wish them all the luck in the world. I think you're a lovely couple. You're certainly a lovely valid too. <laughs> Sophie and our Leon. Well done. Well, that's all we've got time for on tonight's show. But if you want to see how Paddy and Ashley are carrying on backstage, tune in to ITV2 for all the gossip on Blind Date, Kiss and Tell. And, of course, make sure you join us again next week when we'll be here with some more Blind Dates. So, until then, it's ta for now. ta everyone. Details of all tonight's dates are on the Blind Date website at ITV.com. This is pretty nice, but to be honest, I think uh, someone that looks that nice has to pick something planned to make them stand out even more. And I think